Hi, I'd like to introduce Kite 3.0 to all of you. Over the past year, our developers have been working on Kite, changing everything from the back end to the front end to give you a better trading experience than what Kite already gave you. Kite 3.0 is still in beta while I record this video. So to log into Kite 3.0, you have to go to kite3.0.com. You'll see a new layout. The login window has become smaller and much faster, takes less than a few seconds. Key in your ID. If you log in on the same browser again, it remembers your ID really fast. So this is the new Kite 3.0. Now this is on an incognito window. Immediately what you notice is that you have a profile. You can go to your profile, edit your profile picture, add a new profile picture. It shows you a lot of information here. Now I'll go to the regular window login, not the incognito, to show you something which is really, really useful. With Kite 3, what we've got is desktop notifications. So if you click allow here, what happens is irrespective of whether you're logged in to kite or not every time there's a push message you will get a notification at the bottom of your screen our market watch and our dashboard has also changed you can see your uh, cash availability here your holdings and uh, we have a take a tour option it also gives you the broader index view if i had positions it would show me here and the market watch has the same approach and we have a few new options on the market watch the buy and sell is similar uh, I'm just going to execute a buy order now. So you get this notification here, order placed, and you have all your notification lined up here and your open orders are visible here. Let me go back to the main market watch, which I had here. You can see this new addition here, Nifty and Sensex. If you click on the more option here, you have an option to pin this on top. So you can have two pins. So instead of Sensex, I can have SBIN and uh, I can pop out the chart immediately, do a full screen chart visualization. I can delete it. You can also view the stock widget, the same market watches like we had before. Now let me show you the market depth view. Check this out. So you'll know what kind of volumes are coming in based on the price. So you'll know where the most number of buyers and sellers are available. This is just one. Depending on quantity, this increases. So if I click on that, my buy order gets placed on that. And we have a better search and filter option on your order windows here you can download your order book on your holding screen what we've added is these small spark lines to know how your holdings have been performing over the past year now you don't have to go look at the chart you already have it available here so you'll know quickly what your stock has been doing recently so now we also have a universal context menu so now I have this IDFC bank here this order is placed it's not on this market watch I don't have to go to my fifth market watch I just click here and I can get my stock widget I can buy sell from there directly from the stock widget I can check out the market depth now we also have a floating order window now check this out this is my buy order window I can hold this and move it around when you come back the next time this will be remembered so I escape it and I hit buy again it'll open in the same place I had it before another thing which is really cool is you can exit multiple orders at once so I have a lot of open positions now so if you look at the positions widget tells you about all my existing positions the market overview back to my positions we have an option to exit multiple positions at once all my orders are completed and I can see my other two positions still open another very very popular request for us was related to charting Kite, as you know, was showing you one chart at a time. Now what we've done is we've created an option for you to view multiple charts. So you go to the display, choose multiple charts, two or four charts. Assume I say four charts. I can choose my four chart depending on the scripts which are there on my market watch. And you can see these four charts lined up over here. And for each chart, you can have your different types of studies, different time frames. All of these are running in this window here. Another feature which most of our clients wanted from us was a trade from chart option. So you can pop the chart out like I've done for Reliance here. And then if I just click here, I have my market depth, shows me my positions, it shows me my open orders and I can just select and buy. This is the new feature of trade from chart which is available on Kite. Like I said, there's a lot of new things on Kite. Here's another thing which is really new and exciting. That's bracket orders. One of the most anticipated features for guys who trade intraday. On the bracket order, we already had a limit order entry. 
now on the bracket order we have an sl entry open up the regular order more options bracket order so in this window now you have limit and sl limit is you place it based on whatever price you want it to enter at sl is you say any price above this price so assume i want to put the trigger price as three and the price as four so this order play is once it crosses 1003 my order will be executed between 1003 and 1004 and i hit the buy order my order is placed the order is open now for the trigger pending now you can see my order has been executed with the right trigger and target order in place all your open orders all your executed orders you'll see this menu so this menu when you click on it it gives you more options where you can cancel modify you can see the info market depth stock widget and you open these things and with that you can like for example i see the market depth of idfc i can actually buy and sell directly again interesting trader friendly features which we've added on kite now we can't just change the bracket order options and leave cover order alone so we requested our developers to add a limit order functionality for cover orders which originally had only market orders check this out i will place a cover order earlier i used to have only a market order now with the cover order i can enter at a limit price so assume this is my limit price and here what says the trigger price is actually my stop loss price that's a decent price for my stop loss to get executed and i'm hitting my order quite often what happens is you place your order and then you want to place the same order again and then you have to go back open the order window select your options key in the prices and then hit the buy order again not anymore just click on the context menu and you have an option to repeat your order so you come here this was your original order i can just repeat the order i've just brushed the surface of kite 3.0 i'll be able to do more detailed videos once we officially launch it but for now these are the most important features for you to know everything in the back and on the front has changed thanks for watching